Hello and welcome to Beyond the Lens. Today we are going to look at the cutaway shot or B-roll and how to edit it into your finished production. Cutaways are vital for making your story interesting. It's very easy to get stuck shooting in just one position. The best filmmakers are the ones who really move around. Make sure you cover your story from lots of different angles, mixing up style and size of your shots. The more diverse your footage, the more interesting your film will be. Cutaways should include close-up shots of objects, big, wide establishing shots and picturesque general views, like the one you saw at the beginning of this, this tutorial. They will be used to cover cuts in dialogue, as background for voiceover, and for music sequences. If you're filming on location with a crew, get your cameraman to shoot some B-roll or cutaway shots while the rest of your crew is setting up. If it's just you directing and filming, make sure you allow extra time to film your B-roll. So now you've shot your B-roll, let's see how to put it into your edit. Okay, so now we're in Adobe Premiere and we're going to have a look at what to do with our footage. I've ingested it into the computer, I've started laying out my story on my timeline. You can see that I've already started doing a few bits, so if I just move it along you can see there's the intro part. You've got me walking there, cut to me, a stab nice establishing shot there of me sitting looking out over the lovely park there and cut to me talking. Then we've got a cut again here, there's some people walking and then me talking again. And another cut, people with dogs and back to me again. So, what else can you do to using your B-roll footage or cutaways? I've already shown you here, so I'm going to put this cut a bit of a cutaway in here. So we're going to enlarge this on the timeline by pressing the plus key. And then we've got to choose a bit of footage. So I'm going to open up my bin here, my, my project bin. And we'll scroll down a bit. And let's take this one. Nice shot here of the tree walkway. So we'll do an in point, um, move it there, out point, move that out of the way, we drag it onto the timeline. <coughs> not, oh, excuse me, I've got a bit of a cold, I think, or hay fever, or whichever, it's not very nice anyway, but drag that along. So to break up, so I'm not just, so I'm as I'm changing subject, even though I'm in the same place, it cuts to that and then over to me talking again. And we can ha possibly have that a little bit shorter about, let's see, about there. Move our footage back up and move our audio back up. And what we will do, we'll put a film dissolve. If you're wondering where that is, that's in video transitions, dissolve. Film dissolve, we'll drag that, make it work here. There we go. Film dissolve. Actually, I could do with that being a little bit longer there, couldn't I? Make that a little bit too short. And then film dissolve to there. So then if we just scroll through, cuts to that, and then nice fade back into me talking. Other things to use cutaways for, I did a bit here, wherever it is, if I can find it, here. Now, I made a mistake when I was talking, I misread my teleprompter, and I restarted that one phrase. But to avoid that sudden jump, I mean, you can't really notice it there, except I'm here, talking, and it goes along to these people walking in. They sort of disappear behind my neck and all of a sudden they appear here. So we want to get rid of that, make it look nice. So we've got to, let's find a shot. If I bring this shot in from my bin, 
nice shot of some people having a picnic or just enjoying each other's company in the uh, bright sunny day I think but uh, we've already got the in and out point which we've already selected we'll bring that in and I'll move this back a bit move uh, come on move it over a bit too much there up to there and if I put fades on there you can see I'm talking it then goes to a voiceover fades into a voiceover these, these two people enjoying the sunshine and then back to me another little tip as you probably notice I've got music on here so nice little tip for if you're putting music and voice audio together we do, you want the music to fade down while you're talking and then fade back up. So I'm going to show you quickly how to do that. So we're going to press this, our razor tool, and we're going to make a cut here and a cut here where I've stopped speaking. Um, I think I might just do a little bit further there and a little bit out from it. Same here. Go back to our pointer. Now, right click on the area you want to be quieter. And if you come along here, you've got, if I can find it here, uh, move it audio gain. There we go. And just do it, say, to minus what, five. And it brings it down just that little bit. You have to play about with it depending on your track, listen to it. So, could do a little bit more. So, we're going to take it down another minus five there, I think. So, another minus five. That goes down nicely, but you don't want to have that jump down to a quieter volume and a harder volume. So, we're going to go to our audio transitions go to our crossfades we want constant gain so we put constant gain at the beginning of our cut constant gain at the end then you won't notice it. you can't hear it here now but you will have heard it in the front part of this doing it like that people they'll won't really notice that you brought the volume down, but they'll just enjoy what you're doing and enjoy your voiceover. So again, we'll just do that very quickly here. So we've got this bit here. So I'm going to right click, go to audio again. So now we know it's going to be minus 10. Minus 10. Okay, that. And then we'll just bring our constant gain. onto our timeline, onto the audio, and voila, music goes down when you talk, music comes up when you stop talking, it does it nice and smooth, and when you do it right, people won't notice, but if you do it wrong, they will notice. Well, I hope this has helped, if you like it, hit the thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe for more tutorials every Thursday. Have a great weekend.